I'd say it's a really fair, really fair statement to make. Definitely. I'd say probably, you know, throughout the summer and then, uh, you know, fall camp and then just being so familiar now with, with everything that we do day in and day out, uh, just kind of builds our comfort every day. So. I mean, I think you guys can see, you know, they're playing great. You know, they're playing great football. You know, Tommy and Steve are both having great years. You know, I think they'll both be, you know, they should both be, you know, in the consideration for all Americans. And, uh, yeah, they're just playing good. You know, they're flying around, making us right a lot of times, too. And, you know, just working with them, you know, going with each other every day and getting better, building more camaraderie. You know, it's good. So they're playing really well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, maybe a little bit towards the media. It could, it could look like that, but... Uh, like Tom, you know, he talks a lot more than it, it appears, you know, like Tom is a funny guy to hang around, you know, in the, in the Woody and in the locker room. So, you know, the media doesn't really get to see a whole lot of that, but, you know, we see it. So, you know, uh, uh, it's probably because he likes to rip our ass a lot in practice, so we kind of just give grunts back to him. So that's kind of how that goes. Jack, what if, when Zach kicks inside, what, what makes him a weapon? I just think, you know, his, his speed and his length. You know, I don't think guards are, more, are uh, used to seeing guys that big and that fast, you know, on the inside. I think it's a mismatch, you know, 90% of the time. So. Does it make you jealous? you want to do that too? Uh, you know, I don't really want to, I don't really want to kick down inside too okay. much, you know. I want to stay on the edge, but, yeah. Who's more dangerous? You were standing up in that linebacker role or Zach? You know, I think we're both dangerous. You know, I can't. I don't really want to, you know, say one or the other. You know, I think us working together, me being on this, me being on this at the same time, you know, creates a, creates a deadly combination. You know, along with JT and the rest of the guys as well. So uh, I just think that all the different stuff that we're doing, you know, just ties in together with all of us. Last time we talked to you, you were treating him exactly the same like when it's lost codes, you know, the different information. <laughs> so we'll poke that at the beginning. Are, are you? Has anything more been added to your play? Uh, yeah, you know, I think each week, you know, we add certain different flavors and spices in the, the playbook. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm always changing stuff up a little bit and adding new things here and there. So, yeah, I mean, we definitely we definitely will change up a little bit here and there, for sure. How do you feel like Javante Jean Baptiste is playing this year? I think he's playing really well. You know, I think his, his speed off the edge has been phenomenal. Uh, his hands have gotten a lot better. His hips are good. And I think he's playing really good football right now. Jack, it seems like a lot of times you know, you, you're winning your assignment, you're yeah. helping make a play, but you're not necessarily the one who's making a play that shows up in the box score. Is that something you kind of have to get used to accepting? Yeah, you know, I think everybody on the defense kind of got to get used to that. You know, some games we're going to make a bunch of plays, and some games the linebackers are going to make a lot of plays. And so, uh, you know, we're really just trying to play, you know, assignment sound football because that's how our defense is built. And, uh, you know, sometimes we're not, our name might not get called a lot, but uh, that's just how it is. We're going to keep playing, play as a unit. What's the longest talk, speech, or whatever you want to call it, that you've heard Tommy Eichenberg give to the defense? Uh, you know, he's got up in front of the team and talked a bunch, yeah. you know. So we're used to Tommy talking. You know, like I said, Tommy's a funny guy off the field you got to hang out with. Uh, so, yeah, we hear him talk all the time, you know well, what I mean? But when he speaks, what, where can you tell it's coming from? You know what I mean? Can you tell it's coming from a, a you know, a a credible source, so to speak. Oh yeah, yeah, you know Tommy. You know Tommy's a very credible guy, as it, as it is. You know, super hard worker. So we all respect the hell out of him. And you know, whenever he talks, you know, we listen. And so that's kind of just how it goes. What's the best thing you've heard him say that resonates with you? Oh, that's a maybe tough not one. verbatim, but just that's a tough one. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to think about that one a little bit. Probably something when we were playing cards or something. I don't know. But he says a lot of funny stuff when we're playing cards yeah. right before the game. No, I meant from a from a yeah. Pump you up kind of standing. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. He's had so many. He, he talks a lot before games and stuff, so it's too many to, to pick yeah. one out. Give me one, man. Give me one. I can't, I, honestly, I can't think of it on the spot, really. Okay. I, don't think, I don't think I should say it on here anyway. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> what does this Jim Knowles defensive scheme do that kind of helps you guys all, you know, help each other make play? Like, what does it do that maybe kind of helps you guys uh, work together and do better as a defense? I just think it, you know, has guys flying around, you know, and being disruptive. And when you got a bunch of guys flying around being disruptive, and you got the linebackers tied in, and the safeties tied in, you know, it's going to be a lot of a lot of easy plays we made, a lot of open plays we made. And so uh, when you got guys on the same page, you know, doing their job, you know, it's going to it's going to lead to good results. With guys being able to fly around, and make plays. Do you feel like the three levels of the defense are working together a lot better than last year? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, we always talk about coverage and rush working together and. 
and vice versa. So when you got all those things tied into one, you know, you've got a pretty good defense. And I think that's what we've been doing. But we're still far away from, you know, playing a complete game. What, what does that look like? What does a complete game look like? I don't know. We got to see. It should be fun to see. It was pretty close last year. Yeah, I just remember jumping on them early. You know, it was, I think by the time the first quarter was over, it was like 28 nothing maybe. Uh, and saying so, you know, that was big. I think we got a we got a big turnover. I think Rocket might have forced the fumble, and then uh, offense scored quickly. You know, so it was a quick change of the game. So. Yeah, do you feel like you'll the first road game? Yeah, you know, I, I personally I like playing on the road. I like going to other people's stadiums. And, uh, you know, playing on the road, you know, the whole travel, the whole build-up to the game. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I know the rest of the team is looking forward to it as well. Do you feel like y'all, even though you don't have, y'all haven't stacked up big-time sack numbers mm-hmm. yet, maybe? Yeah, exactly. Do like, you feel like y'all have been effective rushing the quarterback? I mean, it, it looks Yeah, I mean, definitely. If you look at it, if you look at the last, you know, five games, yeah. our, our D-line could easily have, you know, eight to ten more sacks. You know, definitely against Toledo and – Couple against Notre Dame and Arkansas State. I mean, we just we left so many on the table against those guys. You know, whether they're missing them or they're, they're getting outside the pocket. So, you know, if you take a look back at all those games, you'll be able to tell that we we should have about eight or ten more. What, what concerns you most about uh, Michigan State in the top ends this week? Obviously, they had a little, they've had a little trouble with consistency. Right. Uh, they got a veteran quarterback, but yep. even last last week he was a little bit shaky, especially mm-hmm. the second half and stuff. But what, what concerns you about this unit? Well, we know Michigan State's always going to give us a good game. Uh, you know, they're always going to, you know, come out, you know, super, you know, super pumped up that they're playing the Buckeyes as we get every week. And, uh, you know, they're well coached and uh, they got a bunch of good, got a bunch of good weapons on offense. You know, the receivers are good. The quarterback's a veteran, you know, he's been around there for a few years now. And so, you know, this is, they're a solid team. We're going to come out there and give us our best shot. So. Guys, one last question for uh, Jack. nicer than I am. I'm not letting you get away from this. You talked about a perfect game here and all of game. What's lacking right now? Where's the area you need to develop to get the back line? You know, I just think, uh, you know, a couple times in the fourth quarter the last few weeks, uh, we've let up big plays here and there. And, you know, earlier in the year we let up some big plays and uh, gave up some yards here and there that, you know, we probably shouldn't have. And so I think, you know, once we get a complete game, you know, it's going to be it's gonna be scary. It's going to be fun to see. Did you make your first two starts the last couple weeks? Just what did that mean to you? Oh, you know, it was, it was a dream come true, you know, you know growing up. Ever since I committed, you know, I dreamed of the day I got to start at Ohio State. And so, you know, it was special. It was a special moment. Yeah, one last question. Bill? What's up, Sam? What are you going to dress up as uh, for Halloween? Ooh, that's a tough one. I don't know. I might dress up as Jim Knowles or Hugh Hefner, <laughs> Hugh Hefner or somebody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hugh Hefner, maybe. Right, We're a rover. Or something. That. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, oh, I think, he's, I think we got it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you get recognized? No, no, no. He's done. Jack's done. Appreciate it. All right. See you at the Playboy Mansion.